In this section, we'll look at how to solve equations. Uh, first of all, a solution is a number that makes the equation true. We solve equations primarily by using two different properties. The addition property of equality says that you can add or subtract the same number from both sides of the equation, and it keeps the equation being true, keeps it true. The multiplication property of equality says that we can multiply or divide the same number on both sides, and the equation is still true. So the key is that we have to do something if we're going to do it on both sides. We can add, subtract, or multiply and divide. To solve an equation means that you need to get the variable or the letter by itself. You need to do the opposite operation from what you see. The opposite operation of addition is subtraction. And the opposite operation of multiplication is division, and vice versa. So in this example one, it asks if this is a solution to the equation. So we need to see, we're going to put in place of x, this 19 over 5. We'll copy everything else, and we're going to see, is it a true statement? So 5 times 19 over 5, this 5 is on top, that cancels out, and we're left with 19 plus 3. We're asking ourselves, does that equal 21? Well, 19 plus 3 is 22. That does not equal 21, which means this is not a solution to the equation. So now let's solve this. We'll draw a line straight down through the equal sign, and we have 9 over 2 times a. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide both sides by 9 over 2. On the left, this cancels out and leaves me with just a. On the right, we need to figure out what 36 divided by 9 over 2 is. So you can put that into your calculator. Just make sure your um, fraction is in parentheses. It's a good idea to always put fractions in parentheses. And if I do that, I get a equals 8. Now I can check that. If I go back to my original problem, I had 9 over 2, and instead of a, I could put 8. And if I check that in my calculator, I get 36. So I know that this answer is correct. So let's look at this one. I'm going to draw my line straight down. On the right-hand side, we can see it's negative t, and it's divided by 12. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 12 in order to make that cancel out. That leaves me with a negative t on the right. And on the left, I need to do negative 4 fifteenths times 12. Again, you can do that in your calculator as long as you're careful about your parentheses. we get negative 16 over 5 equals negative t. Now I don't want that negative in front of my fraction or in front of my t, so the way I get rid of it is I just change this sign, but if I change the sign on this side, I have to change the sign on this side. So I end up with t equals 16 over 5. And again, I can check that. If I take this, instead of t, put in 16 over 5, and divide by 12, I can do that on my calculator. If I do that, I get negative 4 over 15, and so it works. It checks, and this is my answer. this problem, I'm going to draw my line straight down. I look on my left where my x is, and it says plus 7. Well, the opposite of plus 7 is minus 7. 
So I'll subtract 7 from both sides. This cancels out and leaves me with just x. And negative 13 minus 7 is negative 20. And again, I can check that. Instead of x, I'll put negative 20. And if I take negative 20 plus 7, I get negative 13. It checks. So I'll draw my line straight down through here. It says plus 3 fifths. So I'm going to do a minus 3 fifths. Over here, that cancels out, and it leaves me with just z. 3 tenths minus 3 fifths is equal to negative 3 tenths. That's my answer. Again, I can check it. If I put negative 3 tenths in place of z, and I add 3 fifths, I get 3 tenths. It checks. Let's look at one more problem. I'm going to draw my line straight down there. This says negative 9 times w, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 9. Over here it cancels out and leaves me with w. And 21 divided by negative 9 is a decimal. We don't want a decimal, we want a fraction. So let's for just a minute write it as negative 21 over 9. And then we can reduce that because 3 goes into both. And if I divide both by 3, I get negative 7 over 3. You can check that again, negative 9 times negative 7 over 3 is equal to a positive 21. It checks, so that's the right answer. We'll do more equations in the next section.